Us. What is the update? Are the candidates satisfied with the IBC's de decision to conduct elections uh, on the 29th? Well, purity, yes indeed, uh, there's actually been a back and forth uh, between the IEBC, of course, and the candidates here. Remember, it was actually initially slated to happen on uh, 9th of August together with the other elections, of course, uh, uh, from the president to world rep level, but it was actually uh, postponed indefinitely. Initially, it was actually postponed to this date of uh, 23rd, of course, today, Tuesday. But I uh, remember that last week, uh, IEBC chairman Wafula Chibukati indefinitely has uh, postponed it to another date. And so yesterday, Monday, they actually in a consultative meeting with the candidates of that particular position of governor uh, here, of course, uh, in Bomas, Nairobi, they agreed that uh, on 29th uh, of uh, August, of course, uh, next Monday, that's when they will be holding that uh, particular election for governor, not just in uh, Kakamega, but also in uh, uh, Mombasa County and the other five constituencies where they never held that uh, particular election. But I uh, remember that yesterday the Kenya Kwanza candidate, uh, of course, in the ANC party, uh, Klofas Malala, expressed his reservations with the current poll officials in Kakamega County and really saying that uh, he has no confidence in them and really saying that uh, he really calls on the Electoral Commission, IEBC, to just carry out a reshuffle on the poll officials and even cited uh, to be specific counties are, are really calling for the uh, employment or rather the redeployment employment of uh, poll officials from uh, Kisumu or uh, Wasingishu County but that has been now uh, met with the opposition from uh, the Azimio candidate uh, Fernandez Baraza but let's just speak to some of the residents of Kakamega who actually are primarily the electorate in this particular county to just uh, give us their feeling about uh, the now uh, rescheduling of the polls to be carried out on 29th and of course the reservations from the Kenya Kwanza candidate here in Kakamega Karibu sana ndugu utueleze jina lako na pengine umesikia kwamba pengine uchaguzi utakuwa ukifanya what is your take about it and of course the reservations by Clofas Manala that uh, they carry out a reshuffle of the poll officials? Uh, kwa majina naitua Alvis Malova, mimi ni one of civil society wa Kakamega County. Eh, ma, maneno ya mwishimiwa, maneno ya mwishimiwa Clofas Malala, amaogopa uchaguzi. Kama kijana amaogopa uchaguzi, na sisi tukoshua kuwa, baraza atashinda ikura. Kwa mana, Ukianza kusema tu unataka watu kutoka uwashinikishu wakuje kufanyisha hapa na manisha utaki vijana wa kakamega wenye wali apply PO wapatio kazi. So mimi ningependa kumuambia akuje ke tare jumamosi na jumatatu tukutane kwa debe na tutampeleka nyumbani. Pengine mungine hapa usonge tu karibu kila mtu wapata dakika kutawa maoni tu. Pengine you just tell us your name and of course you've heard that uh, the election will be held on 29th this month of course next Monday. What is your take about it and also the reservations by Clovis Malala that uh, he has no confidence in the poll officials in the county? Maybe I'm um, Sungu Ngaira, a businessman in Kakamega town. We appreciate because there are some things that you cannot control in, uh, in uh, your life. IBC actually postponed the election and they have given a, a date on 29th. We as the residents of Kakamega County, we are prepared to choose our governor on that material day because we, those who are, who are complaining that it, it was rescheduled, it means that they are not residents of Kakamega County, they are the outsiders who wanted to come and uh, manipulate uh, our election. Now the, those people will come here on 29th are purely people from Kakamega who knows where it pinches when it comes to service delivery in our county. Yeah. Nice. And when we say about the POs and uh, those people who are in charge of uh, election we know there were some shortcomings. He's a leader. He has his only reservation. He, has, he, he should be listened. He has the only reasons why he says that he needs them to be changed. It's like when Azimio goes to court and says that they want to change some commissioners. Why is it it will be better when the Azimio says they want to change some commissioners and when a candidate at a county level he says that he has no confidence in these uh, presiding officers, we say he has a, he, he's afraid of what? is afraid of election. We should not be using a double, double mouth of speaking. We should say that maybe most of those people who are peers did not perform to the expectation of the common Mwanaishi. That is why he was saying that if it, uh, there's a need, let us have some reshuffle of them. Thank you. Nice.
thanks so much meli ndugu just tell us your name and of course uh, of course you've heard about uh, the rescheduling of the polls to be held on 29th monday next week and also the reservations by kenya kwanza candidate clofas malala that he has no confidence in the uh, poll officials in this county and really calling for reshuffling yeah. my name is owen soma i'm a resident of kakamega uh, first i want to say kakamega is prepared for elections on 29th and I'm sure all the candidates are prepared because they were prepared for elections on 9th of August. Uh, what I want to say about the POs and uh, the, the officials of IBC, uh, if a candidate is fearing to lose an election, he should not fear. Let him come out. He was prepared for this election. Let, us, let him not look for excuses of failing an election. Let him come out clearly. Let him organize his people. The POs have no work. They only have to issue papers and look at the, 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 the preside over the elections. He has to put his agents to, to, to oversee his, uh, his, 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 his votes. So he has nothing to fear. Let him come out. We have also prepared our candidate in Azimio. We are going to face it off. And I'm sure Azimio will carry the day because this is Kakamega. Azimio is Kakamega. Sawasante sana. Maybe finally, uh, just tell us your name and of course uh, the two issues. Uh, of course, the rescheduling of the polls for 29th next Monday and also the reservations by Clofas Malala that uh, they have no confidence, of course, in the poll officials in uh, Kakamega County. Kwa majina, naitua Collins Lumumba, nikiwa kiongozi wa mashabiki na pia president wa vijana nchini Kenya. Na mimi nasema hivi leo hii. E, kwamba kwanza kabisa IBC iliairisha uchaguzi wa governor Kakamega bila kutuonyesha sisi watu wa Kakamega kisa kilikuwa ni kipi kwa sababu wakisema zile ballot papers zilikuwa na shida hawakuwa kuja mbele yetu na kutuonyesha kwa media kwamba era ilikuwa hapa na hapa kwa hivyo mimi napongeza kwamba tunaenda kuchagua gavana wetu kwa sababu tunaenda kuwa na vacuum of leadership in Kakamega kwa hivyo mambo ya kusema tunabadilisha POs haifai kwa sababu tunaangalia wakati yeye alikuwa kwa wakati Cleophas Malala alikuwa kwa mrengo wa Kenya kwanza au wenye wamekweko ndio walifanya hizo kura hakuna mtu alilalamika kwa nini sasa hizi tulalamike kwa hivyo mimi naomba wale wenye wamekweko waishikilie hiyo kazi kwa sababu kila mtu amejipanga kila mtu alifanya kampeni yake twende kwa mwananchi mwananchi achague na mimi naomba vijana tuangalie kwa makini tujue ni nani atatusaidia sisi kama vijana mfano mzuri kijana mwenzangu tumemzika weekend imeisha Brano Lunga alipigwa risasi mimi kama kijana na condemn 